Welcome back to another vlog review. Well, out of all the movies that were released this week, it seems like I drew the short straw. Let's cut right to it. Here's my take on R.I.P.D. If you liked the plot of Ghostbusters, the effects of Men in Black 2, and think Jeff Bridges is just hysterical, then maybe you will like this movie. The story is pretty straightforward. You really do get all the backstory you need from just the trailer. Ryan Reynolds plays Nick, a recently deceased police officer that gets recruited by the afterlife's version of law enforcement known as the Rest in Peace Department. And it seems like the sole mission of the department is to arrest and or execute deados, the walking dead that are still trying to remain among the living to avoid their judgment in the afterlife. And Jeff Bridges plays Roy, an even more cartoonish version of Rooster Cogburn from True Grid. <sighs> I'm sorry folks, it's so hard for me to even scrape together enough of this plot to make a decent summary. Setting aside the poor quality CGI effects, the nausea inducing quick action scenes, and the boring as all hell dialogue, the movie is full of too many unfinished ideas and missed opportunities. In the first 10 minutes of the movie, Nick is killed by his partner, Hayes, who happens to be played by Kevin Bacon, and even a blind man could see that portrayal coming. So they make it a big deal showing that the only reason Nick wants to return to Earth as an RIPD officer is to see his girlfriend again. Now it's revealed that all RIPD agents look completely different than they did when they were alive and can never tell their loved ones the truth about who they are. Okay, that's all well and good, but why is that stopping Nick from telling anyone Hayes was the one who killed him? Seriously, it's ridiculous that he doesn't make any attempts at all to resolve his own murder, and it becomes doubly so when Hayes turns out to be an even bigger threat than before. It feels like the filmmakers spent a lot of time focusing on how to make the movie quirky, they forgot to focus on making it good. For some reason, the aforementioned Dettos look just like they did when they were alive. No bullet holes, no broken bones, no pale skin. They are completely normal, save for the fact that Indian food makes them suddenly look monstrous. Why does this happen? Why do Dettos even want to avoid turning into monsters when it makes them bigger and stronger? Can they ever turn back into normal people again? Doesn't matter, it's weird, so it's funny. That's one of the big problems with the movie altogether. R.I.P.D. does a piss poor job of actually explaining anything. Just what are dettos? Are they zombies? Are they ghosts? People can still see and hear them. They still have to go through doors and windows. And apparently when a dead person doesn't move on to the afterlife, it causes everything around them to rot and spoil. But if that's the case, why does it seem so easy for someone to just choose to stick around after they've died? It's not like it's a few isolated incidents here and there. Near the end of the movie, there are tons of these things running around. And are they all evil? Apparently so, because the only reason Dettos don't move on to the great beyond is because they think they'll go to hell. Which is another thing. The RIPD guns actually have the power to completely erase the dead from existence. That's right. If you resist arrest and your eventual judgment, they can shoot you into oblivion. Of course, as horrifying as that thought is, I'm sure there's no shortage of vengeful undead that would prefer non-existence to, you know, an eternity of fiery torment. Why even bother trying to arrest them in the first place? If they are literally fighting for their lives not to cross over to the other side, just assume they would rather be shot. It's not like Dettos are poor lost souls that don't know what's going on around them. They are actively trying to undo the very laws of the cosmos if it means they can stay in their shitty one bedroom apartment on the south side. <sighs> I was actually looking forward to R.I.P.D. It reminded me of so many other similar movies and TV shows that I used to love. Shows like Good vs. Evil and Dead Like Me. Really creative ideas that never grew in popularity when they should have. This movie could have given us its own unique perspective on the supernatural and spiritual, but instead just slapped together bits and pieces of other, better ideas with no concern for how it all fit together. I'm not much of a Ryan Reynolds fan, but even he felt wasted here. And Jeff Bridges does have some funny lines, but they can only carry the movie so far before he just comes off as a remorseless asshole that needs to remind everyone that when he died, there was no one to mourn him or even bury his body before the animals got to it. A story that gets more and more graphic as the film progresses. <sighs> Overall, the whole thing just comes off as hollow and uninteresting. It's not particularly bad, but it's not good. It's the worst thing a movie can be. Mediocre. 
an ordinary quick cash-in trying to hop on the summer blockbuster bandwagon. Maybe if you're hard up on some Ghostbusters or Men in Black nostalgia, you might enjoy this flick. But I can only recommend waiting for a DVD release, if that. So that's it for me for now. Until next time, I'm Darren with Movie to Blender.